What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai, so I'm new one here bringing another video. Today I am doing a review on episode 8 of the Powerpuff Girls 2016 reboot TV show. Um, today's episode was actually a pretty decent one, and uh, I actually did enjoy it. But it was, it could have been better, but it was fine. Uh, so the episode is entitled Little Octi Lost. So for those of you who know, What's, who or what is Octi? Octi is the stuffed animal that Bubbles tends to have. It's a small octopus uh, stuffed animal that she has in most shows. One thing that bothers me about it in this show is that there's no hat. And I believe Z, uh, Powerpuff Girls Z might have also not had a hat, had a hat but I believe it might have. I, I forget now. Uh, I did I did end up watching it, and I did a, and it was okay. I didn't love Z. I if you're curious uh like i didn't hate it but i didn't love it uh anyway besides the point so this episode obviously is focused on octi it also introduces a new character which uh, which is a villain and we'll get to that in this episode so the episode starts off with the girls having a kickball game and uh, there's there's two different teams there's the hawks and the wa and the warblers and uh, on the Hawks team, there's Buttercup and Bubbles. And on the Warblers team, it's Blossom. Now, the thing is, is that Buttercup, you know, is tough and the Hawks make sense and all that. And so she's the one that's, uh, that's uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, pitching the kickballs and Blossom's up to bat. And, well, uh, up to kick. And they even have like a, a, a refs and officials and all that, and it's kind of this funny thing. And the thing is that Blossom kicks it, and Bubbles is supposed to catch it. Well, rather than her, be, rather than she being the one to catch it, she's like, wait a second, maybe Octi can do it. And so she she waits for Octi to grab it. Remember, stuffed animal here. So what happens is, is that it doesn't work out very well, and Blossom's team, the Warblers, end up winning, and she ends up getting a trophy for it. So that all happens, and then back at the, uh, you know, the uh, back at their home, uh, they end up, you know, sh uh, Buttercup is not very happy with Bubbles, and even makes fun of her for like, you know, still playing with the stuffed animal, and, and it's, you know, not, like the fact that like, you know, treating it like it's a real uh, thing that can speak and all that and uh not very nice to her overall and even the professor defends um bubbles and her actions and you know saying like don't treat your sister that way and you know doing all that kind of stuff that makes so much more sense uh doing all the stuff that, that makes sense for the age that bubbles is so uh, uh, so anyway that all happens and you know Buttercup isn't nice in general, and eventually she, she's frustrated because, you know, she lost while Blossom won. And, um, that, that all happened. So then what happens is, is that eventually the girls go to bed. When they go to bed, you see Buttercup, who is going around the bed at first, to go get the trophy, go get Octi from Bubbles, who is sleeping. And she's supposed to be sleeping too, a Buttercup. And the thing is that she goes around the bed, but then you see her go from underneath the bed. So it's sort of like, what's the point of her running around if she then comes from underneath? Like, just go under, just like go directly underneath. Why would you even go out? No idea. Um, anyway, that all happens. So then Buttercup ends up taking Octi after Octi actually falls out of Bubble's ha hands because she's sleeping with him. And then she turns in her sleep and actually he falls out of her hands so she's like oh that's easy I, I guess I got Bubbles Octi or whatever so Buttercup is like hmm why, why does she like you or whatever and so then what happens is is that um I forget what it was something happened oh yeah it was she went downstairs or whatever and she started doing like these shadow puppet things or whatever with Octi that like made it look like like a an oct like a spider and look like a crocodile and do all these other things and she's like hmm maybe you're more useful than i thought so then she goes to the local carnival plays some games she uses like octi as like a slingshot to to shoot in some basketballs ends up getting a, a jacket for that then she ends up doing another thing ends up getting that jacket embroidered so that there are jewels and all that all over the jacket 
And she gets two jackets, one for her and one for Octi. So Buttercup then goes do, to do some racing with Octi, and they're, she's all happy and stuff. And then we're introduced to a character who is new, and that is the villain for the episode, and that villain is known as Pack Rat. Uh, Pack Rat is an interesting character. Uh, he has this, th he has this, um, there's a little statue that kind of has like a, like a bobbling feature and she, it, it's like a, it's like a hula dancer bobbling, uh, featured statue thing. And, uh, it's, refer and it's name is Olga. So he ends up, so his purpose is to, is to get shiny things for Olga. So he also has his own thing going on there. Anyway, she, he ends up seeing um octi have this jacket that has jewels over it all over it and is like very interested in getting the jacket so she uh pack rat ends up following buttercup home buttercup ends up putting octi inside of a of their uh, entrance door bush um that's to the side and leave them there overnight what happens is the next morning bubbles is like where's octi and ends up you know being upset and everything like that and and Blossom mentioned something about like, here, you can hold on to my to my trophy. I, I think that might come for you. His name is Kicknelius. Don't ask me why, but like Bubbles is not very happy, of, of course. And uh, don't ask me why, like when I say don't ask me why, I mean, don't ask me why that makes any sense at all, but yeah. Um, anyway, that all happens. Bubbles is not very happy and she's annoyed. And you know, Buttercup ends up like being kind of secretive and you get this sense clearly, well, we obviously know, but but uh, Bubbles ends up getting the sense that maybe they, maybe she knows something a little bit more. Maybe Buttercup has some knowledge. Mm -hmm. So what happens is is that uh, Buttercup's like, you know what? Here, I'm gonna. Uh, I think I know where it is. And and the thing is like, hmm, how do you know where it is? Did you take it out somewhere? Did you did you steal it? Did you do something with it? And she's like, no, I just have psychic powers. That's all it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so, and you know, it's a complete utter lie. Um, but anyway. They end up going downstairs near the bushes, and, you know, Buttercup ends up going in the bushes. They're like, hmm, wh why would it be in these bushes? And she she explains, well, here, here's something that you probably haven't seen forever, and she ends up throwing out a frisbee at Bubbles. And Bubbles is like, I thought I lost this frisbee. And it's like, nope. And then she ends up throwing out a d uh, Blossom's diary, and she says, I thought I lost it at that thing a while ago. And the thing is that the diary is covered in worms and insects and stuff like that, and that that's important for what happens later on. And she, so she and, and she doesn't like insects at all. She doesn't like anything that's dirty or gross or slimy or nasty. So she immediately goes into the house, gets on some latex gloves, and picks it up and puts it in a plastic bag. So that all happens. And then she, she looks and she's like, where is it? And, it's like, and they finally see this letter that says... Something that was yours that was shiny is now mine or something like that. And it's for, and it says like from Pack Rat or something like that. So at that point they realize they have to go and find Pack Rat, who is at the Townsville dumpster. Um well, yeah, the Townsville dump. So they end up going there and Bubbles and Buttercup go in there, no big deal. But Blossom is not a fan of going into gross and disgusting areas. That's where that connection comes into play. So what happens is is that she ends up walking up there, you know, hoping that well, she ends up stopping at the front of the entrance thing herself like I'm not gonna get dirty, I can't get dirty, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. So then at that point Buttercup's like, you know what? Fine, you when you figure this out then join us but um we're gonna need to go and then she's like you know what i'm gonna take uh, we need to have your trophy just so that uh we can lure out uh pack rat so they end up so she ends up stealing uh, blossom's trophy and she and blossom's like just just make sure that the cornelius is okay don't don't hurt cornelius because like she ends up treating it like that so they all have their own like object connect like, like you know that 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 imagination uh issue i'm forgetting what, what the term is but like i'm sure some people w would know what it is it's sort of like a psychological uh sensation of ne of needing something that's like close to them you know a lot of these episodes have had those kind of vibes just saying <laughs> anyway that all happens and she ends up taking it and they end up trying to lure up pack rat pack rat shows up in this gigantic robot and it's like oh so that's what happened to pack rat pack rat uses all the the, the uh you know shiny objects to create a gigantic robot and the thing is is that octi is on the front with it with his jacket on and so bubbles and buttercup end up fighting and then suddenly we see blossom who comes in with this sort of like 
a protective shielding or whatever and man and, and comes in to help eventually uh pack Rat ends up actually like dropping octi and making octi like get thrown a distance away and when octi is thrown a distance away she always get like octi always gets thrown inside of a like a trap compactor and the thing is is that buttercup comes in last second whacks it away and whacks it towards bubbles bubbles gets it rejoices and then suddenly when they think everything is good and stuff and pack has been hurt and everything like that um buttercup ends up being put into the, the trash compactor bubbles feels regret feels upset for not forgiving buttercup sooner and not giving her the respect for what she did and because buttercup did apologize um and th but then buttercup is like it says something and, it, and it then proves that she still is alive she did not die but the thing is, is that kick Nelius is not in the same shape the the, the trophy that B blossom had no <laughs> but uh buttercup is hap is good and buttercup and bubbles hug and they forgive each other and they rejoice but blossom on the other hand is not very happy that's about it for this episode um i hope you guys enjoyed this video please tell me in the comments what you guys think did you like pack rat was he okay uh what's your opinion on octi not having a hat you know is that on is it something you mind do you do you think that it matters so much do you think that it, it's that, that important you know leave your comments uh in any regard uh and i'll and um that's about it so please remember to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time so until then guys i'm crazy sam everyone and goodbye